What's up guys, it's your boy Dom and welcome back to Dom Up Cuz. Before we get into the video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dom for your consistent variety uploads. A lot of things are coming to the channel. I promise IRL things are coming this summer after the NBA season is finished and finally wrapped up. Anyway, if you could tell by the title of this video, this is how I got food poisoning. Now, this was when I was on vacation in the Philippines, and if you don't know, I'm half Filipino, so I was visiting family. And we had went to the mall, and we had went to go get something to eat. I forgot what the place is called, but they do have good food. I order a palabok, and um, with egg in it, it's like a boiled egg with the yolk and all that. I feel like the boiled egg is what got me. You know, we do our shopping, you know, and then we, we say, oh, let's find something to eat. We need to get something to eat. So, boom, we going around the place looking for something to eat. Then we go come across this restaurant that we've been to before at a different location like a few probably like a week back or even last year because I usually go yearly but I couldn't do to what's going on now in the world you know um we had went there and I ordered Palabok and Sprite I rarely eat Palabok it's not one of my favorite Filipino cuisines but it's one of them it's it's a really good Filipino cuisine but I never really ate it like that but you know I wanted to try some new again so boom I eat the Palabok the Palabok is good I finished the whole thing it was it was busting for real it was busting and the Sprite was hitting different, I promise you. So after that, I think we do like a little bit more shopping around, looking around. And then by that time, we go back to the house, uh, to the family house in the Philippines. And we and we stay there. I kick it with my cousins. We play games. We like, we play 2K. Just talk, play on our phones with the woo woo and do like Uno and stuff like that. You know, we just talk, joke, and play video games. That's basically what we did, my cousins and I. And by this time, I'm taking a shower. And I'm telling you this, taking showers in the Philippines is the best thing ever because you've got a, like a bucket and you just splash it on you. And it's the water's cold, so I like cold showers. They do wonders, cold showers do. I do all that. I go to bed. I wake up the next morning. When you wake up the next morning, you know, you're just looking around, you know, trying to get yourself back together after having one of the best sleeps. Mid video break, I just want to thank everybody who supported the channel, man. We are almost at 100 subscribers. After this, it's only on the way up, man. We only on the way up from now on. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm really thankful because eight months ago, I would have never thought I would be at 100 in under, in under a year. So I just want to thank y'all, man. And I want to thank God for real for getting me to this. First, I want to thank God because I, it wouldn't be possible without him. But I just want to thank y'all, man, for this opportunity and everything like that. And it's only up from now on, man. It's only up from now on. DUC4L 100. Bow. Now back to your schedule program. Word. Your life. Because I had a really good sleep. You know, it was a really good sleep, and I was just getting back up. My mom was talking to her sister. My mom's, my aunt was in uh, our room, and they were speaking in their native language. Kapapangan. I don't even, I don't know the difference between Kapapangan and Tagalog. I don't know the difference between that. Now, I feel this, like, gurgling, bubbling in my stomach, right? I feel like, uh, you know how your, like, throat starts to get cold, and you start feeling nauseous, and then your stomach start rumbling and stuff? That's exactly how I felt. So I made the indication they had to throw up, and they luckily, for some reason, had a basket, a bucket under the under the, our bed. I don't know how. They got it, and I threw up in it. It ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. And that's how it was for the next 12 hours of the day. And I think that day we had we had to go to a comedy bar, and we we would like to see Wally, Biola, uh, Jose, Manalo, all them. I met them. I met both of them. I was on the stage with both of them. I'll probably put a picture up somewhere around here. And this was wild. Freaking had food poisoning. And I think it was the egg in the palabo. I don't think the egg was cooked all the way through or thoroughly. Because I've never experienced that before. And I feel like it was from the egg. Through that entire day was miserable, bro. It was miserable. I was always at the toilet. I couldn't eat. Like, they bought me McDonald's. I could not eat McDonald's. Like, I usually feast on McDonald's. But this time, I couldn't eat it. And it was just a miserable day. Me throwing up. Me not eating well. And stuff like that. No, I feel fine. You know, I feel okay going to the comedy show and at the comedy show I was feeling okay. But when I came back, bro, it had just rained. And you know, like there are a lot of dogs in the Philippines. You know when it rains and it gets on the 
on the on the droppings it starts to smell especially with the humidity and the heat there it smelled bad you know and it just triggered my 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 stomach and i just threw up it was black too i'm not gonna lie my throat was black i'm not gonna lie to you it was black i was scared i was like oh my goodness what is going on then after that like a day or two afterwards everything was back to normal but dude that was one of the worst experiences i've ever had and i had to keep drinking fluids so i had to keep drinking like gatorade and water and it, i hated it bro i hated it it was just miserable it was just miserable and i really couldn't even do anything that entire day and like it was a miserable day bro it was miserable that's all i can say it was miserable moral of the story bro make sure that your food is cooked thoroughly because you don't want to get food poisoning, okay? If you enjoyed the video and want to see me do more of these story times, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dom. You see how I just put together that entire rhyme? Hold up, hold up! You, you know what it is? Funk Flex, we in that BX, OP, Murder Mook. Yeah. Now listen! That's cool, get boys! Bro, I think it's time for you to go ahead and like the video because, bro, how can you like a video and not like it? God bless. Peace out. 100. Bah!